Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create your own UI panel in After Effects, with all your favorite presets, in just seconds and all for free. Here I have my UI panel with my effects. As you can see, if I click on any effect, it's applied instantly. It's a huge time saver and you'll definitely agree. You can also add a button to the panel for creating a new solid. When you click it, a new solid layer will be added automatically. To create this panel, you'll need a short piece of code, which I've already prepared for you. You can find the code in this video's description. Let's start with the presets. To add any preset to your UI panel, you first need to save the effect on your PC in a safe location where it won't be accidentally deleted. For example, let's apply the Lumetri color effect to a layer. To save Lumetri as a preset on your PC, make sure the effect is selected, then go to animation and click save animation preset. Now choose the folder where you want to save the preset. Give it a name, since this is a Lumetri color effect, I'll name it Lumetri, and then click save. You can save as many effects as you like, but for this quick tutorial, I'll save only the Lumetri effect. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to add more effects to your UI panel. Once you've finished saving your presets, close After Effects. Now go to the folder where you saved the preset, because we'll need to copy its path in a moment. But first let's open the text I've created for you. You can find this text in the description of this video. In this text, you'll see a line that says, this is my presets location. This is where you need to add the path of your own presets. Simply go to the folder where you saved your presets, copy the full folder path, and paste it right here in the text. Also take a moment to look through the script and read the instructions for the UI panel setup. You can adjust the settings however you like, but these default settings work well, I've been testing them all day. You'll also see lines in the text where I've added buttons labeled New Solid, New Camera and Easy Ease. If you don't need any of these buttons, you can remove them, or you can add your own custom buttons just typing here like I did. Once you've adjusted the text and added your buttons, copy the entire text. Then open ChatGPT, paste the text into ChatGPT and wait for for it to generate your UI panel script. Once it's done, copy the generated script by clicking the copy icon. Next on your desktop, create a new text document and open it. Paste the script into the document, then go to file and click save as. Give the file a name, and make sure to add .jsx at the end of the file name. Otherwise, the script won't work. You can now close the text document, as we no longer need it. Here is your JSX file, and we're ready to install it. Go to your C drive, open Program Files, then Adobe, then Adobe After Effects, and then Support Files. Inside, find the Scripts folder, and open the Script UI Panels folder. As you can see, I already have my UI panel here, so I'll delete it to install the new one. Now drag and drop the JSX file we just saved into this folder. Once that's done, we can open After Effects. And here we go. Here's our UI panel, complete with the preset we saved and the buttons we added. If you open After Effects and don't see the custom UI panel, don't worry. Just go to the window menu, scroll down, and you'll find your UI panel listed with the name you gave it. Click on it, and it will open in After Effects. Let's quickly test it out. I'll click on New Camera to see if a new camera layer is added. As you can see everything works perfectly. Now let's test the Easy Ease option. I'll quickly add keyframes and animate the position on a layer. Next select both keyframes and click Easy Ease on the panel. And there we go, it works flawlessly. You can keep the panel floating and drag it anywhere you like, or you can dock it wherever you want. For example, I'll dock it on the right side of After Effects. Once it's docked, you can access all your tools from a single place. Now let me show you how to add more presets to your panel. First apply any effect to a layer. Make sure the effect is selected in the effects panel, then go to the animation menu and click save animation preset. Save it in the same folder where your other presets are stored, and give it a name. To make the new preset appear in your panel, you'll need to restart After Effects. And there it is, our new effect has been added to the panel. Now let's test the effects. It might not work at first, because ChatGPT can sometimes make small mistakes in the script. But don't worry, we can fix it quickly. As you can see, the effect isn't applying to the layer. Let's fix it, it's actually very easy. First open ChatGPT again, and then we'll give it the instructions to correct the script. When I click on preset name, presets not applying. Hit enter and wait for it to fix it. ChatGPT even found the issue amusing but now it's fixed. It may also ask if you wanted to rewrite the entire script, so make sure to highlight the question. Click Ask ChatGPT and simply type Yes. Then wait for your new, updated script to be generated. Once it's ready, copy the entire script again. Now make sure to close After Effects. Then go to the Script UI Panels folder where you saved the JSX file. Right-click the file and select Edit in Notepad. Delete the entire script in the file, and then paste the new script you just copied. Go to File and click Save. 
close notepad, then launch After Effects. Now let's test it out. And there we go. Everything works perfectly. We've just created our very own plugin-like UI panel in After Effects, completely free and in just a few minutes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.